Our attention this time will be focusing on a very many things. Our attention will be focusing on both fonts, style, font size, and font type. Now we have font size, font type, and font style. Our attention to will also come to the find, replace, go to. We will also give attention to select as well as how we can create a PDF from Microsoft Word, how we can convert to a PDF with no stress. So now let's get started. Well, let's quickly talk about, and at the earlier tutorial, we did make mention about the fonts. When it comes to fonts, we discussed a bit on this, and we know we have different fonts, and this is called font type, font type, font type. Definitely, you know that there are several font type. We can just uh, have a look at it and see now it's different and many more. And you can even purchase the disk and uh, install to increase the number of fonts rather than only the one that came with the system. So that is what we call font type. All right. Following it is this one that refers to at fonts. What? Font size. Font size, you can use different means of getting there. We have here, you can see Control plus Shift plus, shift plus P will take you here. Control plus Shift plus P. Alternatively, if you want to use Alternate, you can touch Alt. Alternatively, uh, you strike Alt, you can leave your hand. And if you notice that the H is highlighted under that home, you can touch your H and leave your hand. You notice that many keys that are highlighted. So if you are interested in going to the font type, you can see double F here highlighted. So you just press F twice. All right, so you can then select or type a font of your choice if you want to. That too can be found in the case of um, font size. But another shortcut keys for uh, this font type is that you can simply use Control plus D. Control plus D. Control plus D will open down here where you can make a selection and whatever you choose. And after accepting that, uh, it will be applicable in any highlighted file, any work that has already been highlighted, or if not highlighted, any work that you want to type next. So we have seen several shortcut keys in which we can use for that. Okay. Of course, if we still want to use Alt in the selecting our font size, it's very simple. Just the same Alt, you leave your hand and go to the H. After I press the H, you notice that F is, is actually assigned to the font size. F is. So you touch it at a fast rate. Uh, rate all right. F is. You can see it there. So you can then type whatever you want or you can select a choice fonts. And okay, if you can see, all right, I'm sure we are making progress. Now uh, we are moving to the style, of course. We are familiar with this style, you can just come to the style and point your cursor there and get it done. Make a choice of any font style of your choice, and many more. Of course, you can do more. All right, do you need a shortcut keys on this? Of course, you can still do that. Well, let's just take the alt, alt. All right, just touch your alt and leave your hand, touch the H. And if you leave your hand, you notice that the L is her sign. So you touch the L, and you could make a selection and whatever you select, and click OK. It becomes the active. In case if you want more, uh, if you want to get it much detail, you can say go back to the Alt and go back to the H. After touching the H, you realize that uh, also that the F Y is also a sign. So you press F Y. As you press F Y, you can then make a selection. Of your phones, you can see it moving from one to the other, and so on, and so forth, and choose. So that is font style. Okay, I'm sure we are making progress, and um, you can use this at any time of your choice. Now let's shift attention a little away from that. Well, when we come to this segment, let's start with the select. Well, we are going to discuss three different types, at least, of select when it comes to this. 
Now let's start with select all. When you apply select all, you're simply doing what we normally use by applying the two keys, control plus A, control plus A that does this selection, okay? But if you don't want to do that, you could just come to this place and click on select. As you click on select all, select all is here, and as you click on it, what happened? Everything on this page is highlighted, highlighted, highlighted. So that's a very simple way. You could use to highlight your file. I hope we are following. Wow, so there's so much we can do. Now let's make progress. Well, the second one, the second one. In this second one, that you can see, um, select object select object when you are choosing select object that means the an object it will be the one that will be select not everything and in this case what we have as an object is here all right now my me i just made this tick up in order for us to drink from the microsoft word oh, don't worry if you cannot make this don't worry i'm gonna show you in our subsequent tutorial but then let's see how this apply okay if you come to this place and select this select object select object if you select object and choose this other file you see it doesn't work it doesn't work why because it's meant for an object which is an object here you see in this case now it highlights only the object because that is assigned to the object and after selecting the object or maybe you want to group it and whatever you want to do you just do after you're done doing that you have to go back and deselect the object if it's still highlighted else you may not be able to do all the things good but so now let's progress so now you can see this one they select all text with similar formatting uh oh select all text with similar formatting well many of us are not too familiar with these but let me show you what it means just watch me well you can see you wonder what is it selecting <laughs> okay now let's apply it and see what will be. I'm going to click elsewhere totally. All right, I'm going. Let me use this environment. Now I'm going back to that same place. Select and I'm taking this. If you notice that not everything is selected, okay, it's selective, and you have noticed that all the um, italic size documents of of uh, text in it are not selected. Um, the tables are not selected and many other things. So that this is selective. Um, it determines what is common and what is alike, and does the selection. So that how that work. Um, many of us hardly be in need of that. All right, all right. So you can further go further with all this and that, but we will not discuss in it much on more about that. Maybe in our subsequent tutorial, we'll go into that again. All right, now let's quickly make progress to find. Well, fine. Many of us, sometimes we have many pages that we have typed, and uh, we really want to um, be able to locate a particular part of the work, and uh, we find it difficult, stressing ourselves, going, let's assume, let me just make an example. Let's assume what I'm looking for is this part. Uh, let's assume that this is the word I am um, looking for. Um, let me just take one place. Build. Okay, let me see. This is just the word. Plants such as oil palm is what I'm looking for. Okay, so and I do not know where, it, where it's located. What I need to do, I could just come to define. Okay, after clicking on define and then I will just type what I want to type. So all it takes is for you to go to that um, fine. If you choose to click on this, of course you can um, do that. The simple uh, shortcut keys is simple is to press down your control and F. Control and F will give you this for you to type whatever you want. Like for example, um, Take for example, we are looking for this. We are looking for agroecological zone. As soon as you type, it will automatically locate where it is on the work instead of you starting to search line by line throughout the work, and it may take you many hours in order to locate, and it may not even be possible in some locations. So you may just need to use find. Find is help for that. Well, you can come to this button here and uh, select. You can see the advanced method of it advanced 
when you check the advanced of course you can choose other things you can click on more more will give you uh, make it possible for you to make some other personal selections and even further go into format and choose frame choose style choose paragraph and whatever whatever in case you want to go into customize search instead of just searching it at random so these are many more can be done on the these of course not only that you can see in that same place under that same that fine you can um you can as well use go to go to as well at advanced advanced file as advanced file is basically what we have just discussed earlier on all right let's now focus attention to go to what is go to use for well on that file when you use go to you are simply trying to locate the pitch of the work assumedly that you know the pitch and the work has so much you do not want to start scrolling down one after the other pages that sometimes take so much time imagine you're working on a thousands of pages and you want to scroll down to page 763 that will be necessary okay in this case we are having only 12 pages but we let us just have an example then as i'm going to page page 10 of this work so all i take is just to come to go to and then on this place enter page number i will just click or type whatever i want to type let's enter automatically if you come to the in this bottom right okay start, uh, page status you will see that that is 10 of 12 over here so that is what it's used for alternatively we have a shortcut keys in which you can use for this okay what is the shortcut keys simply apply control and g control g if you go to so whatever page of your choice you want to you type and leave you there exactly so that is what good go to is used for and if you can find them under fine and so on all right let's focus on this to replace replace are actually used to replace a particular phrase or a word with another let's assume that this same word that we use in fine that was agro ecological zone i want to change it and replace it with them um, ah let me use a uh, done to school to be a, a replace word let's see what it gives us i ask it to replace okay yes find it i said okay i'm good so replace it so what happened here is that any place that we once had um that will be replaced with done to school all right that is what it is like all right now let's go to find and try to find out whether we now have then to school in the work or not or not okay you can see it there you can see it there and mm, i think it was up to two places so if you search it again we are going to see another done to school so that is what we use sometimes that for example you are handling a project okay you can see another one here you are handling a project work and uh, Maybe you were using a phrase that supposed not to be used and it had been on a repetition for so many occasions. So instead of you um, finding, um, trying to replace them one by one, you can use um, replace um, to do that. And the shortcut keys to replace is simply to apply, you can simply apply um, control plus H. Control plus H is for replace. Sorry, control plus H is for replace go to as we had earlier mentioned is control plus g all right if you want to of course you can use alt remember our in the previous tutorial we learned much about alt you can just press down your alt touch your alt or just uh, strike alt and leave your hand then you can see the under that the h is highlighted just touch the h now you come to this side if you know these that each of them have a letter representation or letters representative so you can use that in under replace just touch your alt as I told you, you can see it here, so you can as well manipulate everything you want to do with ease. So that is that about that. All right, now let's quickly discuss one more thing that may of uh, be of much interest to everyone, the lovers of computer, and you may be glad to notice that you can easily convert your PH, uh, P, sorry, PDF that is portable document format to uh, from Microsoft Word document to uh, portable document format that is PDF from this section so you can create and share 
of course the acrobat reader or the acrobat pdf okay how do you do that well first and foremost it's expected that the file is you save the file first on my own case i've saved the file so you come to it now this and click okay i give you warning make sure that it's saved whatever whatever so you can say yes i accept so it will open you this dialog box uh, now if you notice that under save as type it's now at what pdf files and so on you can see dot pdf so whatever file name you give now and whatever location you may choose to save after clicking that you can click on save as soon as you click on save automatically you have converted it to what to the pdf so as simple as that it's not difficult so you can as well convert your microsoft word to the pdf so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial or if you have really enjoyed the tutorial please track that subscribe button after all here we are offering you opportunity of becoming part of our fund part of our members free of charge we're not charging anybody for subscribing so just hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video you will be among those who will be part of this beautiful family to enjoy the beautiful tutorial as they come to will so remain blessed till i see you in our next tutorial thanks so much